A new capture button for video and photos is rumored for the iPhone 16, but that alone won't be the reason more people may look to upgrade this fall. The next iPhones are expected to debut in roughly three months, but this upgrade cycle feels different from before. Every September it's the same dance from Apple. iPhones get incremental improvements in performance and design, and customers who hold off on upgrading still get new software improvements. But with the introduction of Apple Intelligence, the company's generative AI tools, it changes the story this fall. Now the biggest software tricks that everyone is buzzing about will require the new hardware. If you want an iPhone that can send silly AI-generated images to friends and can tap into a smarter Siri, you'll need one of the newest iPhones with a top-of-the-line processor. Right now, that's the iPhone 15 Pro with an A17 Pro chip. That alone has analysts predicting a huge wave of customers looking to upgrade. Investment firm Wedbush says the iPhone 16 will bring us into an upgrade super cycle, as highlighted by Apple Insider, since an estimated 270 million iPhone users haven't upgraded in four years. With so many folks hungry to taste the new AI software, what's in store for the hardware in iPhone 16? This week's episode of One More Thing goes over all the latest reported iPhone changes, including the addition of a camera button for all models that will unlock different tricks, depending on how you move your finger over it. Reports also say an action button will replace all the mute switches, but we just need to figure out some clever uses for that button. Apple intelligence represents a significant leap in on-device AI capabilities, directly bringing advanced machine learning and natural language processing to our phones. However, this technology is still in its infancy. On-device LLMs and generative AI are essentially in an alpha or beta phase, and there's a lot of uncertainty about how well they will perform on current Apple mobile hardware. Apple Intelligence is not simply another routine iOS or macOS feature upgrade. The device will load a downsized version of Apple's foundation models, a homegrown large language model, LLM, which will be several gigabytes in size and have as many as 3 billion parameters. Apple Intelligence will improve Siri in 2024, but don't expect most updates until 2025. How this will work on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS has not yet been fully detailed to developers, but it will have to be loaded, at least partially, in memory, potentially occupying between 750 megabytes and 2 gigabytes of RAM when running, according to current estimates. Earlier this month, it was discussed how older, as well as current generation, iOS devices aren't powerful enough to handle on-device generative AI tasks. The base iPhone 15, which has only 6 gigabytes of RAM, may struggle to meet the demands of Apple intelligence as it evolves and becomes more integrated into iOS, core Apple applications, and developer applications. The iPhone 15 Pro, with 8 gigabytes of RAM, may be better suited for these tasks. Early adopters may find the AI features more useful for developers than everyday users, as the system may need fine-tuning and updates to reach its full potential. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 and Apple Intelligence as we approach the launch date later this year.